Hi, Father Justin here. I'm coming to you uh, from my car, which is parked in the parking lot of the Coles in Norwalk, <laughs> where I've gone foraging for cell service because I don't have any in New Canaan. Uh, sorry, I apologize for my uh, my unshaven appearance and for my crazy hair. I'm not coming to you in my normal clerical duds. Today has not been a normal day, and I suspect it's not been a normal day for you either. Uh, as far as I can tell, looking around, I'm not the only one here is to is turn my car into an office, and perhaps that's where you are when you're watching this right now. Reverend Elizabeth and I want for you to know that you are in our thoughts and in our prayers today for however it is that the tropical storm that passed through our community yesterday has affected you. Uh, the staff is hard at work here reaching out to people uh, and we already know that so many of you have been in touch with us and with each other already in imitation of our Lord. And we're so, so, so deeply grateful for that. Um, Father Peter also sends word to you from Maine, where he's just begun his summer Sabbath with his family, that he is well and that he wishes all of you well and wishes peace for each of you. I uh, hope you know how deeply Father Peter loves you and cares for you. And he joins us in prayer for, uh, for our families and communities here. As I said, the staff is working uh, on lots of lots of things here, um, including plans for this weekend for pastoral services that we already have lined up, uh, f and also for our Sunday services. So the nine o'clock outdoor Eucharist will go on as scheduled. Uh, the um, the ten o'clock stream uh, that's that's another <laughs> that's another issue. Uh, depending on our service provider and depending on when power is restored and all that, we may have to make alternative plans. We'll be in touch with you about the ten o'clock Eucharist later in the week. Morning prayer, which takes place on Zoom daily here, uh, will also be on break for the rest of the week. So no morning prayer for the rest of this week. If you have a pastoral concern of some sort, you won't be able to get in touch with us through the normal means uh, because our phone systems at church are down. So if you call the church number, you actually won't reach us. Uh, if you do have a pastoral need, please reach out to Beth Ralston directly, and she'll put you in touch with either me or Reverend Elizabeth. Let me give you her cell phone number, okay? 917-294-9503. Okay, be directly in touch with Beth, and she'll put you in touch with us. You know, as I uh, as I was leaving the house for the second time today to go forage for Wi-Fi, I took a look at my little dog. Uh, as as you guys know, uh, Valkyrie is our I think she's thirteen weeks at this point. She's been with Jewel and me for three weeks. Uh, she's our new dog. And Valkyrie looked at me with this unbelievable look on her face. <laughs> it looked as though her world had ended. And, uh, I mean, in some ways, it's definitely been shaken up. Uh, this morning, we, we stuck her in the back seat here, Jewel and I did, and put her in our little carrier and proceeded to Starbucks here in Norwalk in search of Wi-Fi and also in search of breakfast sandwiches. And we waited in an hour-long drive through line. And God bless the people. Uh, God bless the, the baristas working at Starbucks. They were getting us all through. Uh, fantastic. I had to be on a Zoom call anyway this morning, and I found uh, found working LTE service there in the in the drive through line. So that was all good. I was having a blast, and we got our sandwich, and we got our, got our coffee. But Valkyrie was way discombobulated with this disruption to her regular morning routine. And when I left the house again, there in the middle of the day, which she's not used to, she looked at me with this incredible, I, I tell you, puppy dog eyes, that's where it comes from. The look that Valkyrie gave me as I was leaving the second time this afternoon. And Jewel said, when she saw Valkyrie's face, she said, it is as though 2020 is just happening to Valkyrie. I'm telling you, 2020 is enough to make any of us look like my little dog. I don't know where it is that you're watching this. Maybe you're in a parking lot like I am. Maybe you're, uh, maybe you're at Town Hall or at the library in New Canaan. Or maybe you're in your living room if you're, uh, if you're fortunate enough to have power or cell service. Wherever it is that you are, let us go to our Lord in prayer for just a moment. Let us approach the throne of grace with boldness, asking Jesus for whatever it is that we need today.
particularly that Jesus would calm any of the storms that are brewing now in our hearts, just as he calmed the storm that raged around the disciples and, and caught them off guard at sea. We can be in touch with our Lord at any time because he dwells deep within us. So wherever it is that you are, bow your heads with me, if you will, or close your eyes. Enter into that interior castle in your soul where our Lord dwells and have a word. Take a moment to pray for those who have lost their homes or loved ones in the storm. For those who are working hard to restore power and communication in our communities. for the homeless and those with no cool place to go in the heat. For whoever it is who is on our hearts right now. And for ourselves, asking Jesus for whatever it is we need. Lord Jesus, stay with us, for evening is close at hand and the day is soon past. Be our companion in the storms of life. Kindle our hearts and awaken hope that we might know you as you are revealed in Scripture, in the breaking of bread, and in one another. And all of this for the sake of your love. Amen. May the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be with you now and remain with you always. Amen.